From misery to ministry, that explains part of Jerry Holliday's journey on this earth. She grew up here in Wilmington, went through some tough times with thoughts of suicide, and even spent years in prison. But on the other side of that low point, Jerry has flourished in her faith, using a God-given gift, her voice, to inspire others. Jerry now runs a nonprofit organization in the Harrelson Center downtown. It's a place where faith meets fashion, with some pretty amazing results. There are a lot of clothes in this space, jackets, dresses, shirts, ties, shoes too. Mm -hmm. Jerry Holiday will make you look good. So if he takes this jacket, no necktie. But she will make you feel even better. Right now, that suit hanging on a hanger is just some material and some thread. I say the true value of it, the beauty of it is not shown until you put it on, somebody puts it on. I said, you bring the value to the clothing. You bring the beauty out. The clothing doesn't do that to you. So you've got to understand you are worth it. Jerry uses the clothes that are donated to her Philippians 3 ministries to showcase the outside. While her words, they help rebuild and uplift the inside. What you bring to society, nobody else can. Nobody else can tell you what you have to offer to society. You have to decide. Her clients are often in desperate need and are outfitted here for free. They get the clothes they need to interview for a job. They get more outfits to wear when they land one. Since 2007, Jerry has used her corner of the Harrelson Center as, let's say, God's dressing room. Our clients, when they come in, they have a tendency to come in with the mindset, whatever you give me, I'll be satisfied. No, no, that's not how it works out here. You have the right to come in and expect something good. Why now, this ministry? Well, at one time, decades ago, Jerry needed help. She had served time and delivered her first child in federal prison after trusting a man and embezzling money from a bank for him. Everything that transpired is God's way of showing me, look, I've got this. I've given the stamp of approval for this to occur in your life. Yes, you were the one that made the decision, but I allowed it. I could have stopped you. Jerry made it back home to Wilmington and started using music as her ministry. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Releasing her own collection of Christian songs and performing for years with Jim Baker's PTL show. That was my process. This is my purpose. When Christ was born, his purpose was to die on the cross. But healing the sick, raising the dead, the sermon, that was part of his process. So now her Philippians 3 Ministries works to help the less fortunate, domestic violence victims, ex-cons trying to re-enter society, Marcus, or recovering drug it. users like Marcus see, Taylor, we, uh, who was desperate for change different. after overdosing four times. The look in my kids' eyes, whenever they came to me asking me, uh, hey, Daddy, could I get a, you know, asking, uh, you know, clothes, shoes and stuff, and I wasn't able to afford to get that stuff for my kids. It really hurt me. I want you to put this on with the black pants. Jerry set Marcus up with outfits to wear on his job interview. Mm -hmm. She even gave me the chance to help in the process. Okay. I saw for myself what happens when a lost soul looks into the mirror and sees someone new staring back. Look at that guy in there. <laughs> what do you see? What do you see when you look in there? What do you see? The change, man. I gave hope. I gave something you can't buy. I gave them respect. I gave them love. But I also gave them a belief and they have a right to expect a good future. By the way, Marcus got that job that he interviewed for. Another perfect fit for Jerry Holiday's ministry. If you want to donate to the Philippians 3 Ministries, volunteer to help her at the Harrelson Center location, or if you know someone who would benefit from her assistance, I've put the contact information 
inside this story on our website and our news app.